In Togo, protests and public sector strikes have been going on for months. The West African country has been ruled by a single family for half a century. In the Nasingbe dynasty, son President Four Nasingbe has followed father. Without presidential term limits, and many Togolese have had enough. Pressure from the streets has brought a commitment by the president to enter constitutional reform talks. Few, though, expect concrete results. Joaquin Sonuku is a teacher who's joined the strikers. I have a professional degree and my salary is 125 US dollars per month. The cost of living is high and we're overwhelmed by debts. It's very difficult. As a French teacher, I handle four classes of more than 100 students each with two different subjects. At the end of a semester, I have more than a thousand papers to mark without any support. We lack infrastructure, no library to do research. In some classes, there's no space for all the children. Health workers are also on strike. Ali Bana says the decision to walk out of his hospital job was not taken lightly. The health service, he says, is no longer fit for purpose. We have given an oath to serve and save life. But when you take a decision to go on strike, you should understand that the situation is appalling and we are not going to be complicit with it. There are departments that function without personnel at night, like ophthalmology, and the pediatric nurse serving in the recovery room is the same nurse who has to rush to attend other babies in other rooms. International mediators from Ghana and Guinea say talks between the government and the opposition will begin on February the 15th. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.